Hello everyone, welcome to ATO. My name is Tyler and today we're going to be looking at setting up multi-output routing inside of Contact. This is going to enable you to have one instance of Contact and have up to 16 instruments play with inside your track instead of having 16 instances of Contact which can be uh, fairly CPU intensive. So uh, to start what we're going to do is load up an instance of Contact and this is what your Contact should look like when you open it. You should have the files tab over here. You should have the master uh, control knob up here. You also should have the keyboard down here. Um, but for the purpose of this video, let's just clean it up and make it look nice. Let's go ahead and come up here. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of uh, the master tab. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna get rid of the keyboard. And we're also just gonna get rid of the file tab over here in the browser. So this is here is what you should have now. Let's go ahead and open up the outputs. So to do that, all you gotta do is come up here, go down to outputs, and then you have your outputs loaded. Now, this is what your output should look like. Um, you should have one stereo track uh, as well as four auxes. Uh, we're gonna need to create more outputs. Um, this is fairly really easy. So all you gotta do is go over here to this output section, click the plus, and this is what you should get. A small little option up here. So all you need to do is change the quantity of the channels to 16. Number of channels, leave it the same as two. Um, sound card, host output, you need to click on this, go up to um, stereo channel one, whichever one comes up here first. Um, and then you need to make sure that the ascending output assignment is uh, enabled here. That way it's just gonna go ahead and cascade through all these. Next thing you wanna click on is uh, delete existing channels before using, go ahead and click that. That way you're just gonna go ahead and get rid of all the tracks that you had before. And then you're going to make this your default configuration. So that way, every single time you go ahead and open up a new contact, um, it will have the same routing and that way you don't have to do it every single time. So go ahead and click OK. You're going to get a warning box saying, are you sure? Let's go ahead and click OK. Now, this is what you should get. Um, you should get a lot more tracks through here. The way you know you've done this right is you should see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way down here until you get to 31, 32, and then you have your four auxes over here. Okay, let's start loading instruments in here and testing to see if this here works. So let's go ahead and get rid of the output section. We don't need this here anymore. We're gonna go ahead and just right click to open up our quick load. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly load uh, two things of sentry strings. So I'll go ahead and load violins one and I'll load a cello, why not? Perfect, so now we have two instruments in here. So let's go over to this section here. So before we go ahead and create our MIDI tracks, now this is Cubase specific, but um, all we need to do is change this MIDI uh, channel here and change this here to 16, and this will become apparent um, in just a little bit. So um, next next thing all you gotta do is right click here, uh, create your MIDI tracks, so MIDI track up here. Um, set the count to 16 because we've created 16 outputs. Uh, we're just going to call, go ahead and call this strings and go ahead and add track. Now, all the MIDI tracks have just been created for us. Now, what you've done by changing this uh, value here to 16, what you've essentially done is notice over here, um, the track starts at 1. And as we go down, it goes to 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 16. So everything's all pre-routed for you. You don't have to do it manually just by doing that one instance if you change this here to one and then created the MIDI track you'd have to go into every single one of these and update um, this number so it makes it it makes it a lot easier just by keeping uh, this here to 16. So let's test and see if this here works so if I go ahead and record arm uh, string channel one I should get a violin perfect if I go ahead and record arm string channel two I should get the cellos That's as easy as it is to set up multi-output routing with inside contact. My name is Tyler, happy composing.